This video demonstrates how to configure a site-to-site -site VPN on Wagia Cloud. A site-to-site -site VPN is commonly used for data transmission between the headquarters network and the branch network. It is typically deployed in scenarios such as chain supermarkets, government agencies, and banks. To ensure secure data transmission over the internet, a VPN tunnel can be established between the headquarters network and the branch network. The following figure shows the typical topology of a site-to-site -site VPN. The headquarters and the branch are connected to the internet through Gateway 1 and Gateway 2, respectively, and establish VPN connections through WAN 1 and WAN 2, respectively. Once the headquarters and branch networks are successfully authenticated using the pre-shared key, they can securely communicate with each other through the VPN. Visit the official website of Uechia Cloud, enter your username and password, and click Login. On the home page, click the target project of the headquarters gateway. Then, choose Configuration, Device Config, Gateway, VPN. The system supports both manual and automatic VPN policy configuration. When the headquarters gateway and branch gateway are managed by the same cloud account, you are advised to select Auto IPsec to simplify the configuration process. Click the VPN tab. Click Add VPN Policy to access the Add VPN Policy page. On the page that is displayed, toggle on Enable. Enter a name for the VPN policy in the Name field. Alternatively, you can use the default name automatically generated based on the selected scenario and VPN mode. Set Purpose to Site-to-Site -site VPN. Select a role for the gateway. For example, if server is selected, the current gateway is designated as the headquarters gateway. Set VPN mode to Auto IPsec. When role is set to server, the server field is automatically populated with the project of the headquarters gateway. Configure HQ1 as the WAN port on the headquarters gateway to establish the VPN connection. Set the HQ subnet to the subnet accessible by branches. Select the project of the branch gateway. Click Add. Click the VPN tab. Click Add VPN Policy to access the Add VPN Policy page. On the page that is displayed, toggle on Enable. Enter a name for the VPN policy in the name field. Alternatively, you can use the default name automatically generated based on the selected scenario and VPN mode. Set purpose to site-to-site -to -site VPN. Select a role for the gateway. For example, if server is selected, the current gateway is designated as the headquarters gateway. Set VPN mode to manual IPsec. In the Internet field, select IPv4 or IPv6 for communication between two ends. Ensure that the IP address format on both ends is the same. Specify the version of Internet Key Exchange, which can be IKF1 or IKF2. Enter the WAN port of the headquarters gateway in the HQ1 field. The branch gateway will communicate with the headquarters gateway through this IP address. A public IP address must be configured for the WAN port to enable VPN access. If the WAN port is configured with a dynamic IP address, you are advised to use DDNS for the VPN connection. Set subnet to the subnet accessible by branches. Set the pre-share key for authentication on both ends. Expand advanced to set advanced parameters. Alternatively, you can use the default settings. Click Add. If manual IPsec is selected, you need to log into the branch gateway to complete the configuration after configuring the headquarters gateway. Configuration parameters of the branch gateway are as follows. Set HQIP or domain to the IP address or domain name of the headquarters gateway. The pre-shared key must be the same as that configured on the headquarters gateway. Log into the PC at the branch and run a ping command. 
If the PC can receive data, the VPN between the headquarters and the branch is successfully established. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.